Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this clip, we continue our tour of common myths by exploring one of my favorite topics, winding. It should not be surprising that people would want to have simple general rules to guide them. However, as we've now come to expect, general rules can be as destructive as no rules at all. Winding is not simple, and so we should not expect that simple rules will work well. However, I will try and simplify as much as possible by saying that there are four categories under which most defects can be roughly classified. Loose defects tend to damage the roll by allowing it to lose a desired cylindrical shape. Flat spots from floor storage or egg shapes from core support storage are just a few examples. Of course, it is our customer who defines how good the cylinder must be, and hopefully our web and winder can achieve that. The second category is somewhat larger in terms of numbers. That is, tight defects tend to damage the web. However, just because there are more types does not mean the general rule for looseness has any validity. If your particular rolls suffer from looseness, then it matters not how many tight defects are possible in the big world elsewhere. More to the point, many defects are largely tension insensitive. These often have to do with design, maintenance, or operation. The last category are a select couple of defects of the hundreds of possible types that are roll structure or taper sensitive. These are, namely, one of the seven types of starring and two of the seven types of telescopes. I have written on many occasions my total disgust with the concept of taper and how it is overplayed and poorly done on the rare occasion when it matters. Finally, None of this completes our understanding of other factors that can be as important or even more important than the settings of knobs on the winder. Gauge profile problems and design of webs with certain difficult properties can dominate the mechanics for many real-world issues. The only solution to this is to literally go to school by self-teaching, in the public classroom, in the plant classroom, or online. Adding more knobs does not necessarily make life better. As we discussed in Module 20 of Web 101, the different winding classes can have one to four knobs. These knobs are known as the TNTs of winding. Unfortunately, these knobs cost money. But I'm not talking here about the cost to purchase. That you only pay for once. What I am talking about here is the cost of complexity that you will pay forever. There are some designs of duplex winders that have as many as 14 knobs or adjustments that affect the tightness of winding rolls. To make matters worse, some of those are tapered or have curves as a function of current wound roll diameter rather than being simple set points. The question I ask in my web class is how many knobs do you want to give the night crew? The answers I usually get are zero or one. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. Please stay tuned as we continue our efforts in myth busting by talking about another one of my favorite topics, wrinkling.